Ooh. Oh, I am super excited. Christmas in the air. I don't care whether some people don't even feel it yet. Hmm. Santa is definitely coming for us and taking us to North Pole. <laughs> and how do you know it's Christmas until Honeypot starts wearing touch of green and red? You know, she's feeling Christmas. See her red boots now. No, I, I don't think it is because of... Um, you, I woke up and yeah, I was done. Christmas. So you did not agree <laughs> today. Is only Pot and Christmas Have you ever seen Santa before? No. Have you seen Santa? Do you know, I've been that... waiting for Santa for the longest. I was saying, you know, the moment Santa came to Nigeria, Nepal took light. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. A day without your dose of wow. East Flash can be blunt or boring. And you might find yourself wondering what's missing. <laughs> hmm. Let me tell you a little secret. The show right here called East Flash is the answer. Yep. Uh -huh. That's very correct. So to our loyal fans, thanks for tuning in again and giving us the chance to brighten your day in the little way that we can. And we sure do appreciate you for that one. Yes, we appreciate you. It's Tuesday, guys. It's time to bring you all the excitement and creativity the storytelling world has to offer. You know we always come correct in helping you update your movie playlist. We've got you covered on that today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one, the only freshest kid on the block. Oh, wow. You know, it's not time to check the clock, you know. Mm -hmm. All love, no Glock. Mm -hmm. It's Big J, baby. You already know, fly, fly, fly. Yes, and Shit. you do look fly. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Yes, I really like the combination. You entered and I was like, Amazing. oh my God. Amazing. A breath of fresh air. Yeah. yeah love thank you. Lee. Thank yes. you. I'll be sharing fresh air today. So, yeah, people. Wow. <laughs> How? No, okay, share, 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 share. You know my name, my name is Catherine, and y'all know me as Lady Cat, have real hotness, Queen Cat, have real hotness, Kate Cat, the pressing, not the chocolate, baby, Kitty Kata, Kate of the Kate Cruise, baby. All right, so I do like your footwear, and then Thank when you. I saw Kate enter yeah. today, I'm like, okay, so we're wearing black, let's just hope that Jay Paul is not going to. I mean, we were they waiting me, for you. Me. The little birds told me. Oh, not to wear black. Yeah, they I'm told glad you didn't. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so I thought to add some touch of. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Mama Gray. Yes. Mama Gray. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's introduce this person. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it is honey money. It is honey sassy. It is honey on point. It is honey venus. It is honey flames, the baddest in the game. Mm. How is that full size for today? Ooh. Honey, honestly, I love your look today, honey. I Thank love you. it. Thank you, darling. Like even those hots. You know, all you need now is a bike. bike. You know? Yeah, even with the skirts. Yeah. yeah. I would definitely welcome. love okay. to ride you. No, okay. that didn't sound right. right. Wow. Mm. <laughs> so he likes to ride with me. No. Yes, he likes to ride with me. So you bike. have to put a proposition yeah. there. You don't just bring it out like so that. So it's either okay. on the horse or on the bike. <laughs> that still didn't sound right. <laughs> All right, so we are feeling pumped. <laughs> That's why we've got lined up for you today. Stories making waves in the entertainment world. And of course, the celebrity birthday shout out. So want to know what happened in the entertainment history today? Okay, well, you can just cut that on Rewind also. Also, we will be finding out who we've got on Where Are They Now? While well, Catherine Kitty Carter will be bringing us today's dose of social media craziness on Social View. Still to come on the second half of the show is the Chew It Off segment. Then we'll be having the news recap and on today's daily top five, we will be talking about five popular Yoruba actors you didn't know are not originally Yoruba. Mm. Followed by what are you watching? We will then wrap it all up with movies, movies and the movies. movies. Let's go. Oh my God, sit down. I could just para. I was, wow. just, I was just thinking to myself, like, the ladies in Destiny Child, I mean, Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, what's the other lady's name? Michelle Williams. Michelle. Yeah, Michelle Williams. They all sound alike. Like, like I'm just listening to this. Oh, so you this. thought it was Beyonce on... <laughs> to be honest, I'm just listening to this. I'm like, she sounds so much so like So I think it happens with groups too because, you know, sometimes when you hear, in fact, every time when you hear one, they call, uh, you think it is, um, what's our guy's name? Chudi K. Chudi K. Yeah, because yeah, they those were in a group. Yeah, so Same thing I with think... uh, Plantation Boys. Right. Yeah, sometimes face, you hear, yeah, that you yeah. think that this similarity is, it's a true, it's yeah, a true. That's because actually. you've heard all of them sing at once. And yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And that's it. Uh, we've come to the entertainment news, guys. Welcome back to the show. We're starting with this one. Pete Edoche opens up on his son's new marriage. Nollywood veteran actor Pete Edoche has spoken up on his son, Yul's decision to pick his colleague, Judy Austin, as a second wife. 
Peter Doce made this known recently in an interview with Vanguard where he said he didn't feel good about his son's decision, but that was his choice to make. He said, and I quote, I didn't feel good, but like I said, I'm a Christian and I read the Bible. Solomon with 700 wives and 300 concubines was branded a man of wisdom. It's his choice and for whatever reason, he decided to take a second wife. That's what I can say, end of quote. If you would recall, actor Yule Doce made the news earlier this year when he shocked everyone with the announcement of himself picking actress Judy Austin as a second wife. His first wife, May Edoche, also expressed her displeasure at the actor's decision, stating that she will not be cajoled to accept what does not align with her faith. He's actually doing it. Yep. Okay, because I know they, they came out and then they dispelled the rumors and then now it's actually happening. So yes, the thing, um, I was laughing when you were reading um, the quotes from... Sapite Doche. He still find a way, he found a way to drop a quote. <laughs> he said, if Solomon can have 600 wives, 300 concubines, okay, and he's a man, he still found a way to drop it. But I mean, he expressed himself and he said, well, he wasn't uh, feeling right about it. He doesn't feel right about it, but it's his son's decision. So yeah, everybody, let's respect yeah. that. His yeah, his son is an adult. Mm -hmm. That is the way he chooses to live his life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of everyone's course. entitled to their of opinion course. and choices. I just, at the end of the day, we don't want to hear anything on social media. We don't want to see any problem. If, if you have any problem, you chose by yourself. Mm -hmm. let them deal with it. Exactly. We don't care about the problems. I just really agree. Amber Heard demands new trial against Johnny Depp. American actress Amber Heard has taken to the Virginia courts to file a new appeal months after she lost to ex-husband Johnny Depp in the highly publicized defamation case. According to reports, the Aquaman star is asking for a reversal of the decision or a new trial in the defamation case, which she lost earlier this year, claiming that the six-week-long trial was held in wrong states. In a 68-page appeal, Heard's attorneys have objected to the jury's decision to exclude certain places of evidence, including contemporaneous notes from therapists that say document allegations of abuse, which according to her resulted in an unfair trial. The actor's legal team has asked the courts to reverse the verdict of the jury, who mainly sided with uh, Deb and awarded him over $10 million in damages. Amber Heard's lawyers stated that the trial court improperly prevented the jury from considering several separate instances in which Heard reported Deb's abuse to a medical professional. If not reversed, the trial court's exclusion of contemporaneous reports of domestic abuse to medical professionals will make it more difficult for other abuse victims to prove allegations of abuse and likely deter them from coming forward. That holding, if allowed to stand, undoubtedly will have a chilling effect on other women who wish to speak about abuse involving powerful men. Our legal team, which comprises a different set of lawyers than those who represented her during the trial, also argued that the trial, which took place in Fairfax, Virginia, should have taken place in California, where the once married couple lived together. Just so you know, if this becomes successful, it will be Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's third time in court. First, a UK court ruled in favor of Heard, then a US court ruled in favor of Depp. She does come to Africa. <sighs> They've used UK, <laughs> they've serious. used US, they should yes, call no, to Africa. Africa. Yeah. You're not serious at call. all. So, I, don't, I don't know why they keep going back and forth, back and forth. So it's now 1-1. One, one. And then it's a tiebreaker. So someone is looking to win. Because someone has ruled, a court has ruled in favor of Amber, mm -hmm. another in favor of Johnny. And this thing has been on for a while. Then it was settled. And then even the $2 million damages that she was told to pay, mm -hmm. Johnny Depp said they should let it go. $10 million actually. No, two, okay, there was the $2 million, million. There was ten. He said he was going to let the $2 million go and that she shouldn't go for that with the case. But now she doesn't care. She's still going for that. Now she wants to appeal again. And when I saw a 68-page appeal, I'm like, what? And she's using another set yes. of lawyers entirely. Entirely. To, to be honest, I think ha. in this case, Johnny Depp doesn't really care about the money. The reason why he went back to that court was, I need to clear my name. Yes. I need people to not see me in that light which you have painted me. He lost deals. He lost a lot of stuff, jobs, because of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, now he has cleared his name. 
It's not, it's not even, like, why is she pushing this? Why is she pushing She wants to clear her no, own No, it looks name. very petty to me. We are tired. Tired. Because yeah. it's now that uh, he's getting back on Pirates of the Caribbean that this is coming up. Mm. Because there was news recently that Pirates of the Caribbean have said he should come back to act as Captain Jack Sparrow. And then now she is coming back to do this, maybe because she's also feeling the way he felt when she blamed him and he wasn't getting jobs. Somebody be this pretty because, and be so stubborn. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> So ha. what's the truth at the end of the day? Because they're just you. banging us up and down. Ha. What is the truth? We all know, OK, you know what? Let them do what they want. Ha. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. I'm tired. Crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see how this whole thing plays out. If they'll go to appeal. And we'll just be here and keep watching the drama. Yeah, let's see how and it goes. Of... Yeah, that's right. And that's all we can take on the entertainment news, guys. It is now time for Celebrity Birthday Shout Out. All right, in alphabetical order, today's celebrants are the following people. Ayo Shonaya is 54 today. He's a Nigerian filmmaker and lawyer who was a music talent agent for a long time. He managed many Nigerian artists like Wasu Aingde Mashal, K1 The Ultimate, The Band, Don Jazzy LD, The Don, and others. He has also represented former beauty queen and rapper Muna and global music star Akon. Yeah, wow. and um, is responsible, is the brain behind the documentary on Netflix yeah. about yeah. Afrobeats. Afro yeah, the and uh, he made us understand that Afrobeats is not actually Afrobeats. Fela was the one who brought Afrobeats. Yeah. What we have now is Afrofusion. You know, so um, great work he has done over the years, uh, and happy birthday to him. All happy right, happy birthday, birthday to Ayoshinaya. Yeah. We celebrate you. Uh, because I saw the notes they actually wrote on his, uh, you know, on his page, and it was talking about uh, the significance of his age right now, yeah. starting from the scratch and yeah. building, and it yeah. will not stop, yeah. and all of that. And he ended it with a fella uh, quote mm. saying that, I still day here, uh, <laughs> something, something. Um, like no compromise or yeah, something. Yeah. 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 Happy <laughs> nice. birthday. Happy birthday. All right. We also have Colin Salmon, who is 60 today. The British actor is known for playing Charles Robinson in three James Bond films and James One Shade in the Resident Evil film series. He has had roles on many television series such as Tales from the Crypt, 24, Leave Another Day, Arrow, Limitless, Krypton, amongst others. Colin Salmon. Yeah, amazing guy. I like his, his, his looks. Yeah. It's, he has this fearsome look when he's mm -hmm. acting. And yeah. He's, he's, he's really, really, he's a method actor. Yeah. You know? So, I, yeah, happy birthday to him. And the action birthday. films for me. Yeah. 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 All the areas. Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday. Still on our list of celebrity birthdays, Ricardo Banks, Ricky Baby, is 29 today. The award-winning Nigerian singer and songwriter is popular for hit songs such as Catapult, Sugar Baby, Oluwani, Standard, Easy, Jeje, Blessings on Me, Rara, Ozumba, Mbadiwe, amongst many others. Yeah, and he's one of those guys who have stood the test of time. Yes, yes and I yes. think that he does not even have any bad song. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't. I, I don't, he doesn't. I don't yeah, think I've, back now, I have yeah. heard any song that did not hit mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. Ricardo Banks. And Happy they birthday. all Happy trended, too. like every of his songs back to back. Yeah. 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 Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And happy birthday to every single person out there celebrating today. We wish you the very best. We send you love. Uh, J. Paul in the DM and send you money. And uh, we're wishing you the very best. I am very glad. I feel very, very relieved. <laughs> relieved. <to> do. <laughs> Meanwhile, I think you should get a piercing on your nose. I should, like, right? it be so cute for days. Oh, my fine. Oh, my God. Mimbo, my manager, are you listening? Yes. Piers on my nose. Cute, cute, cute <laughs> for days. Blue again. I just remember that Energy. she's nominated this year. Yes. She is powerful and vocal, man. Like, she knows the secrets. She goes to cook the stew and put everything that you need to put in it. And you then think Bonabo will win this year? Um, so, I don't know, but I think being nominated um, in the first place mm -hmm. is something. Uh, Angelique Kijo has the secrets for uh, Grammy, and she's won it back to back yes, to back to has. back. Definitely. And she doesn't stop. So it's not like, okay, somebody is just sitting down somewhere and doing jazz. No. Mm -hmm. The jazz she does is that mm -hmm. even at that age, mm -hmm. she works so hard. Mm -hmm. the, only, that, the only time I feel that mm -hmm. uh, she might not be nominated is maybe after she retires. 
and they might even nominate our old songs. Yeah, but that's, that, that, that's, that's, that's why that's you're a, not that's, keeping the year in view. Mm -hmm. That's something that I want even our musicians out here to emulate the old guys. Yeah. All the two face and the rest, they can still yeah. bring out stuff, push out stuff. She has been there for years and she's still being nominated for Grammy. So, why are they sitting down and resting when they can still be nominated? So nice, you can still be nominated, sir. Yes, he'll bring on Grammy. Yes, yes. Actually, you can yes. still. Have you heard his last late? body of work? Nice. His, his last body of work is so amazing. So but nice has always nice, nice has always. always been fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Nice has always been fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not too late. Yeah, not we'll bring late. on Grammy. Definitely. Very soon. <laughs> we are waiting. All right, welcome to Social Field. We're about to dive into the social media space and it is filled with all the humor and savagery you can think of. Come with me, guys. Are you ready? Let's, do, Let's this. do it. Okay, so this is a chat between a guy and his guy. So he says. Edge, do me one K. And then he's giving this emoji where he's trying to open the door. And then the other one responds, <laughs> I know get bank again, swears. Come collect cash, I they can't know. Uh, I'm going to wow. use this format. Wow. I they can't know. This is so sweet. I'll go use them. I was just telling somebody yesterday that I'm always very afraid these days to say, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> because, Billing. you know that when you say, how are you? And the person, so I have discovered, because after saying this, this person, the person I was telling to now said, ah, honey pot, I have issues, so please send me money. Because I said, so many times when people say this to me, even if I don't have, I find, it, like, I go, to, I go, like, out of my way yeah. to do something. And sometimes it's not even convenient. <laughs> it, it is crazy because, um, so people like when you reach out. So for instance, it happens to me a lot. People reach out, you know, and maybe it takes me a while to respond because I have tons of messages. When I finally respond, I found out what's up now. Next thing, I'm going to do me something. I actually honestly thought you were checking on, on me, me or yes. reaching out on me. But yes. all you just want is a piece of the cake. Yeah, checking yeah. on people these days and it's billing on. Like, and I think that if you're that person who's always been billing people, or the people will not open your message for a while. At all. But now, just be sending messages and be checking on them. Just yes. check, yes. check on yes. people. Yes. Yes. Not yes. just about the money. Although they will not still open your message mm -hmm. because you have begged too much. And they'll feel it's billing again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happened to me last week. Three people. How are you doing? Billing. Thank God only one sent account number, Sha. Ah, God. Yeah. Yeah. Only because one. Because me, no. that I said I will buy myself Christmas clothes. My dear. Little. <laughs> Maybe I've sent my Christmas clothes to someone. Honey Pot, have you not got <laughs> I've sent my Christmas clothes money to someone. You, said ah, you never buy them. Don't worry, Honey Pot. I'm ah. sure that in that wardrobe, some clothes we never wear. Still did. No, I want a special one for Me, I've got Christmas earrings from Honey Pot, Sha. Let's move on. <laughs> Thank God, Thank Sarah. Thank you, they, my customer. You're welcome. Thank God, Sarah, they keep nails. Waiting at for chop today. Says somebody that doesn't know anything wow. during examination. Hmm. I, I don't know like how that you one. Feel. Okay, I, I get it. I got the top nail. Oh, she's hungry. Yeah. Hunger, so nail. the nails yeah. she fed on them. I don't at know. Least how least it has Is there anybody here who eats their nails? At all. Because uh, uh, it's always looking ridiculous. Like it's start mm. from here. <laughs> oh, they don't backtrack the nail. <laughs> <laughs> and they see different kind of nails these days. These wow. days, right? <laughs> oh no, sorry. Wow. My twin is on this table. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Because if you say anything, no, I will get the clip. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, Ibuka tweets and he says, Don't put liver in my fried rice. <laughs> At not your spec responds, Married, no easy. You get some things where you know go fit your wife face to face. You got to use Twitter. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I wow. think you'd still like that thing because if you really don't like it, it's like my father that did not used to eat locust beans and all of those things. You can't afford to do it. Okay. It will cost wahala. Mm -hmm. Because I remember that there was a time like that, that, you know, that meeting that you have, maybe you, the association that you belong to, and then you have the meeting at home. Yeah. And so my mom felt that because, you know, this one is for guests, mm -mm -mm. she now puts... Hey! So what I don't eat, you want to give my... Wow. Like, you that know how... Thank God there was no Twitter there. Ah, I'm telling you. Uh, the one was not here. This one, I like it's pain because I saw Ipena. this tweet. Baba said, don't put liver in my fried rice. Talk to your wife. And it was Oga. straight instruction. Talk to my So that time there was no Twitter. My father used to say it out. No. And it made us, it made now look like all of us do not now eat it in that house because there is no how you now bring, because of the smell, he didn't like it. There well, is no how you bring that. Let's just see. Maybe it's not his wife he's talking about yet. Yeah. Mm. This might just be You'll a random. You'll be surprised it's the wife. Yeah, I'm not there. Oh, it looks like it's the wife, Sha. So I am on the score. Pretty precious. First talking stage questions. <laughs> and at Caleb Music 8 says, can you behave normally when you hear DJ Waike Mule? I think people should ask these questions yes. because yes. 
I really do not appreciate when I, I like when people know how to dance, right? Mm -hmm. But that's on one hand. Another thing is that you know, attend somebody's wedding party <laughs> or you are the bride and you are behaving like a mad person. <laughs> like it's so distasteful, like it's so ras, local, crass. What? Don't do that. DJ, <laughs> I can't do that. Like, I saw a video. I, <laughs> I, saw, I saw a video. I'm talking to Catherine. Please, no. don't do that. <laughs> No, I no, saw, that's not me. I saw a video. No, that's not me. Amen. Does she do it? Uh, when I attend Cashin, 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 if I go and see that she's not losing, the table. if I go and I'm see that she's, the she's losing, it's like this. I will me, me. No, I saw a video me? circulating social media. Um, it's especially on Twitter, and it was a wedding, mm -hmm. right? So this girl was doing a face off with a man, and then the uh, next thing, five beautiful babe, five outfits, and then the next thing, she just cut her ground. It's not even the ground is not enough. It's the face. I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> Them go what is going on here? Well, the More thing is, the thing is weddings you. these days, especially people on the train, the bride and groom train, they always <laughs> do this face off or they're dancing together. So it is fun, right? Yeah. I'm not saying that don't do face off, don't. But there are some dance steps or style <laughs> that they remove show. And I remove show. Now, put the book all this nonsense. See, there's some level of zanku that when some people start, I'll sit down and say, thank you, Mao. Thanks they for should, coming. They should not do not it in, in where people <laughs> No, yes, it is. <sighs> when they cross the bridge mm. to the island, they should not do it. Oh. But you can just... Ah, so oh. what do you mean? Mm. <laughs> We, um, we live on the mainland and we're not, um, we're not RAS people. No, we're not. j Paul, why do you come to the mainland? <laughs> yeah, because I come to work, you know, and then it's... Wow. Just... So, we are going to lock you... So, when is <laughs> the next time you're coming to this place? Wow. You will see yourself. Yeah, you will live on the mainland the, yes, for the next one week. Beginning of that the mainland bridge, mm -hmm. you will not be able to come. You. you will see yourself. All those things sell something that you become funny. You, you will see. You will not chop. You will see. <laughs> oh, let's just move on already. At board underscore republic says, Are you wearing Christmas pajamas with someone Sunday season? <laughs> I mean, where we pull you for prayer. Mm, put me for prayer. Ha, was it was even two years ago. When was lockdown? Was it two years ago? Yes, two years ago. Ah, hey, Christmas this, card. This pajamas thing. Ah, people selling pajamas so that year. To somebody's daughter out there, mm -hmm. if you are hearing this, we mm -hmm. need to wear Christmas pajamas together. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. I yes. have. Of the waist you are pajamas at home, more. I don't the know if somebody holding. wants to. No, that's not the one. Maybe somebody wants to twin with me. Oh, you have two? <laughs> Anybody have to two? I'm not looking for you. I'm looking no, for you. No, because some, I'm helping him to <laughs> ask. I'm helping him to what, ask. What's that your uh, husband's uh, name in, in this office? What's his name? Oh, no, 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 no. no. I, that one no, would do I'm not. broken up. Well, I'm not dead. He has a wife. <laughs> <laughs> She's her boyfriend. She's not her husband. I'm looking for a real relationship. Hey. Please, I am tired of... <laughs> All right, the Mim King makes an appearance. And at its underscore Zayad one says, Geography teacher, thanks for deceiving me. Earth is rotating and I'm still in Nigeria, eh? So if I rotate, yeah, five years ago, move me, go another yeah, country. No sense, person. Ah! <laughs> ah! Don't mind that camp up where rotates, actually. Yeah, so why you, you never rotate with the earth? <laughs> <laughs> I beg, mean, if the earth was rotating and you could rotate, where would you rather be? Um, you'll be surprised. You think that I want to jackpot. Mm. 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 See, I just want everything to be okay. Yeah. I, I want to travel the world, yeah. but not mm. that I want to go and be... I just did, want to be ah, comfortable. Did you I see that it. video of that guy who... Uh, the French ambassador, I guess. Yeah, the French son, um, an, ad, an, an envoy of the mm -hmm. French uh, ministry yeah. asked him, what does Jakpa mean? And then when he said, well, Jakpa is when, you know, Nigerians with all their talent, hardworking, you know, they want to export it to the world, mm. which means we don't just want to share it in Nigeria. Yes. We want to bless the world with yes. it. And everybody was hailing him. Like, oh. yeah. So he's saying that when Nigerians <laughs> don't have sense and they take what they have away from their yes, land and, and give they give other another. Hmm. I like that definition, actually. I okay, do. so uh, this one is to my gender. They say girls will break up because their guy is cheating, then go ahead dating a guy that has a girlfriend. Wow, supreme kids. So I think I saw this somewhere mm -hmm. where somebody left their husband because mm -hmm. of cheating and the person has started dating a married, a married man. man. <laughs> so make it make sense, actually. Because I'm like, so what is this? So what you were blaming okay. somebody mm -hmm. for, you, you have are gone to... So to... are they saying that they prefer the man who is cheating but open to them about cheating than the man who was cheating and keeping it a secret? Hmm. 
I know, yeah, the... I know that some things are not easy, especially yeah. when you think that, oh, let me just do this, divorce mm -hmm. or separate, and go and be free. It's not even easy. But you can, never, can, you can, you never... can be jumping up and down. Man. Even as a single person, you can't hmm. be jumping up and down. Like, it's not just... It's not. It's yeah, not, but it's not... actual fact, you can't change a cheating man. A no, cheating you man, you can't change. You can't. It's like a liar. You can't change a liar. You can't change people. Hmm. You get, you can't. Anyway, the meme king is here again, and uh, he's talking to <laughs> some people on some table. He says, you never know as 2023 go be. You did drink slim tea. <laughs> Save your <laughs> facts wow. now. Save your facts Save now. It to... So that if there's no money, Sakpa will not make you like broomstick. There will be money in Jesus' name. Amen. No. I can't even... Whatever <laughs> people are saying. 2023. But slim tea does not work now, does it, it work? Too. No. I'm speaking I mean, that's to... another gist for another gist. I'm speaking Man. to our So you are still deceiving yourself. Slim tea is not your portion 2023. You will be, no, you will be fat in your account. You will make money. You will make money too. Say amen. Hey. Oh, well, it people are not feeling what well, I'm feeling. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we see Brother Shaggy and he's very, very surprised. What should I say? He's well, flabbergasted. Uh, a, a Juicy George says, girls will tell you they are going through a lot. And they're a lot. Is looking for money to buy new wig. But it's a lot. So it's a lot now. It's a lot. Is that it's a, a lot. lot? So you think that uh -uh. it's not a lot? It's a lot. Do you know what it means to buy human hair or bone straight? Do you know how much hair is now? And then with the exchange rate, it's more expensive. It's a lot. Okay. Wow. Um, uh, where's OJ? I need OJ. Oh, you need him. Know, I, need, I need him to help, you know, because, you know, I was preaching love before. I don't feel it again. By the way, why was that one looking like a beautiful girl? Ah. OJ. He did his hair, packed it to the... He's looking OJ so is fine. OJ's cute. OJ uh -huh. is... Very cute. Hey, OJ is T-Pain right now. Ah. Like, he's, he's so fine. He's a fine man. All you need to do is sing, buy you a drink, you will buy you a drink. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Time check, the first half of the show Five is done. The morning. Wow, we're still to come. Chew it off the entertainment news recap. The Elite of Five, what are you watching? And movies at the movies. So, guys, stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying with us. In case you're just joining us, this is the second half of the show. And we're so ready to keep you more entertained. Right about now, it is time to chew it off. Time for one of us to let us know what's bothering ha. And who it's would me. that be? It's me. It's you? It's me. Ah. It's me. You're and angry. I want to talk about people who take things or keep things that do not belong to them. Ah. So, uh... <laughs> you made me remember his kids <laughs> of somebody that said somebody was owing him. And so he went to the person's house and knocked and did not see the person. So he saw maybe a ram tied somewhere. <laughs> and, he carried and he carried it. So it was not for the neighbor. They now said, Oli, Oli. They now that. <laughs> I don't know. I did not know that it was your right. <laughs> Somebody, your neighbor was with me and I found it. <laughs> okay, so uh, this one is generally to people who take things that do not belong to them. Mm. So uh, in recent times, I've been seeing videos of people finding things that are meant for people locked mm. up in rooms or warehouses. Even mm. the recent Biosa flood victims, mm. there, was a, there was a reported video of some of the relief items being kept somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we've seen videos of uh, things that people were supposed to get. When I even came to the studio today, uh, some of the cameramen were talking about things like that. And over the internet, over the past couple of weeks, I've seen people come out to say that, oh, this person said I had an health issue or I needed help. This person said they were going to send me this. And then I signed, only for me to find out that, oh, I signed that I collected 500000 when I got to where I was going, I found I was given only 100 or 200,000 Naira. And there have been so many cases. People are trying to help other people, but the middleman is sabotaging everything. And I wonder if you're trying to sabotage another person being helped, and then something goes wrong, and they hold you responsible. You're responsible. Because if someone needs 400,000 for their health issue, mm. and... This person is very, very generous and decides to give them maybe five or six hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. And you decide to take the two hundred thousand on top of it. And then they come back to you to say thank you. Mm. And you're like, oh, thank you for the four hundred thousand. You're like, oh, it was six hundred. And you're like, how? Mm. So it's just crazy. I've heard different stories from people face to face. I've seen it on social media. And I'm wondering, <clears throat> we always say the government is bad, the government is wicked, but we are the government. 
if we can't help each other, if we can't be honest, we can't be truthful, then how do we expect things to get better and things to change? I totally agree with you because, yeah, it was Ellen Paul who said this um, some time ago. Uh, she said that whenever people send somebody to give her money, she would call the person and thank the person who sent the money to her, call the person and thank the person and say the exact uh -huh. amount of yes. money. Like, I thank you so much for the 100,000 mm -hmm. Naira. Thanks so much for the... So that you will know because they found out that there are a lot of people. People mm -hmm. have managers, people have, you know, like um, personal assistants, you know, uh, different people that they send around. So you, you find people you know, want to help people and then uh, they have them send those people to people and then they would have taken their own oh, cut out, out of it. And mm. at the end of the day, you see that, you know, so people have found that in that way. Yes. So they just mm. call. I think, I think even Kazim, the cameraman, shared uh, one story with me like that, an experience like that with me too, mm. you know, and that person now said, oh no, that was not the amount. Did I take anything yeah. of yours? Because I'm moving. I'll find out. Don't worry. Well, no. Nobody takes anything that belongs to me. <laughs> I mean, I will find out. <laughs> and when I see you the next time, I will bring a lock pass. Wow. Wow. No, but wow. about this thing that you're saying, is actually, it's not just even about when it's you give somebody to. So mm -hmm. I saw a video um, on social media. This was yesterday. A woman had realized that something had been missing in her house mm. every time. From the fridge, food will be missing, mm -hmm. stuff will be missing in the house. And she tells her husband, and like, they lock this house when they are going out. So how come stuff gets missing? So one day she decides to pretend as if she had gone out, locked up everywhere. Oh, is it the Keto boy that came yes. inside mm. the apartment? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my God, I saw yes. it online. I saw it, yeah. I saw it. Pretended like she was inside. Mm. So Somebody this opened guy the door. Had an extra key, key to their house. And yeah. he stays opposite to it. He doesn't even stay in the in same the compound. compound. Um, so he came into the house, opened it, and she was there waiting. Yes, I saw the him. video. The thief, I yeah. saw the video. And I'm like, he now started begging. I said, this one. And she better have it in the board before it becomes it today. Uh, before it becomes um, you know, Anini. Because what? Ah. How cr how crazy can that be? Like very crazy. You wait for the people to leave their house, then you now go and you open their house and you start taking stuff from their fridge. That one is even another rant for another day because many of those things, people getting extra keys and all those things, it's when you drop your key with someone or you the mechanic comes, when the mechanic comes to fix the car, the best thing is to just remove the car key and give them just the car key. But some, but some people are very trusting so they give them the that bunch. they give you the whole bunch. Oh. And those ones do not know what key it is. They it's, don't cut anything. It's not even just mechanics. So one day... I, I've been looking I, for my designer glasses I gave, that I usually put in my car. I don't so know how it's going. I, I gave my friend, I gave my friend my car to, you know, you know, he wanted to go buy something. So I, I usually keep change in my car just in case I want to use I have, like, change. So I checked when he came back. I didn't see the money. I asked Oga. Oga said he didn't take the money. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything. But that was the last time I ever gave him my car Before. to go and do anything with it. Because if I can't trust you mm -hmm. with small change, what is there? Just tell me you took it. Oh, I, I wanted to get it. something yeah. and I used it. You Just cannot even me. use it. It's uh, not your own. At don't. least. Well, Just you cannot even use no, it. No, only for I, 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 I said I didn't have cash and I needed to um, get something. There are small, uh, small things like that. Yeah. You don't <laughs> get small, small, small ah. things like that. And the reason I allow some people around me is because, you know, over time, you put your so stuff somewhere and you see it there. Mm -hmm. And they don't have a jukokoro. They're not asking you going up and down. Eh, can I? Can I? I'm not saying yeah. that you cannot ask for stuff, but there are people who are really, really greedy. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, so that was what, um, you know, uh, someone was saying the other time that you cannot say somebody is your mentor and then you go to their house every time and, you know, they help you out. And every time you think that because they are rich, you see somebody who has a lot of wristwatches yeah. and your eye just goes to one Give and say, eh, please, can I? That will be the end. They will not be your course. Before we move on, yeah, do you know how annoying it is that you're looking for a shirt of yours in your house? Then you don't see, then one day you just see your friend post Where it on social media. Ha! I don't have such friends. <laughs> Well, uh, that rant session is over <laughs> right now. <laughs> nah, we're not going on. But getting right to it, it's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. And if you remember, we told you that Peter Doce opened up on his son's new marriage and is not having it. We also told you that Amber Heard demands new trial against Johnny Depp. Hmm, this is another back mm. and forth again. Very serious, though. <sighs> Very serious. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back after this break for the Daily Top 5.
Yeah. Ooh, that that is maybe. the anthem on everybody's lips right yeah. now. Oh my and um, something about Mavens, like, when yeah. you just bring the song and, you know, yeah. I don't know the magic, yeah. like, what's yeah. that? Um, so... Good luck cha charm. The thing with the Mavings is they are amazing. Don Jazzy knows how to pick out talent. I'm telling you. And uh, you know, they first came out with Overdose. That's and now right. more, that more, and they recently dropped the Chapter X album, which is the Mavin All Star album. Yeah. So they've been working on this body of work for a very long time, and now it's out for a listening pleasure. Oh, did you? Oh. Ah, OJ, hey! Jeez, how hey, on earth will I make this mistake ways. that I'm falling before OJ? It's okay, it's okay, it's fine. What that guy does wow. to me, I, am so, so, I, I sincerely apologize. I take it back. Wow. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Wow, wow, wow. What? j Paul? <laughs> apologies. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Stupid guy, it's OJ, fine, fine, that is... I don't understand. I mean, I can share. <laughs> Wow. But, I mean, <laughs> I, can't, I can't come back from this. <laughs> As in... Did you see their behind-the-scenes uh, video? Yeah. Where yeah. somebody fell down when they were laughing, and yeah. I'm like, what's Cruz? I, I think I like the way Don Jazzy leads this whole thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, the Mavens are one group that always have a plan, right? I mean, they've had different generations already. We had the Wande Co generation. Uh, we had the Ricardo generation, which had uh, Corey De Bello That's right. That. That's right. We now have this new generation and uh, the new album. Nobody expected it. They just dropped it. Chapter X. Yeah. Boom! Amazing tracks on it. One of my favorites is the Amina track. Uh, it's just amazing. These guys are so good, and they are doing a concert. Mm -hmm. um, that concert too is is going to be massive. You know, they don't even need to go and pay another artist to come and perform at their concerts. That's right. Because they have so Of course, they have. Oh. And that is what they are. You know? And I, I like that you touched on that, um, especially with the fact that, you know, you might think that there is somebody in the, like, they're all talented, but you might think that, oh, maybe one person is popping more than the other person. And so you are carrying the whole bunch along so that when you have the concert, you have yeah. stuff done together. Yeah. Everybody is yeah. involved yeah. and nobody yeah. is lacking behind. And lacking behind. And no matter what Guess what? Say there's still many more people. Good. That they are still training, of grooming, course, actually. Forming. actually. They have like an academy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they train Fantastic. these guys for a long mm -hmm. time before they now say Great. you're ready. And it's now amazing. we can see the result of the training. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, let's get right to the Daily Top 5. Despite not being of Yoruba origin, the Yoruba film industry can boast of several fantastic actors. Some race to popularity, some race to popularity in the Yoruba film industry, while others began their careers in English films before moving into the Yoruba sector, acting in both Yoruba and English films. These are non-tribal performers that are thriving because they have been in the industry for a long time and have garnered accolades for their outstanding work as they speak impeccable Yoruba language. To let you know who they are, here are five popular Yoruba actors you didn't know are not originally Yoruba. Why? Because this is the Little Five. Five, four, three, two, one. Let Watch go. me. Alrighty, the first person we're talking about is Faithia Williams. Faithia Williams is Urobo. Yes, I can see the shock on your face. In the Yoruba film business, she's a versatile actor. Because of her previous name, Balogun, many people mistakenly believe she is Yoruba. In February 1969, she was born in Ukwara, a Delta State waterside local government area in southern Nigeria. I hmm. did not even know that. To be honest, really? I didn't know that she was not Yoruba. Fethiye Balogun was, you know, everybody knows Fethiye Balogun, Fethiye Balogun. I mean, she has changed her name now to Fethiye Williams. But she speaks Yoruba, like, impeccably. <laughs> she's so fluent in the language, and that's amazing. That's actually Yeah, amazing. and she's pretty four days, too. Yeah, she Especially is. with the fact that, you know, yeah, we knew her, first of all, knew her from the Yoruba stuff, and then mm -hmm. she does English, too, English. but yeah. Yoruba is like our core, and then you see her even mingle with all these people when they go for events and yeah. all mm -hmm. that, and mm -hmm. you typically, like, typically think that, you know, mm -hmm. she is your, but just because, you know, all this Fuji, Kineko, Kineko, like, mm -hmm. you know, you, you yeah, get like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. that so you soon. think, yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, now moving on, let's talk about Tony Abraham. Many people actually believe that this star was born in Ibadan because she grew up there. She's, however, from Edo. Toyin is a Yoruba actress who was born in Auchi, Edo State, and rose to prominence in the Yoruba film industry. <laughs> You're lying. 
Honest she truth. Is not she's not your No way. Are you serious? At all. Like, you're really to, shocked today. To, uh, are you to joking? Imaku Abraham. Uh -uh. No. So she grew up in Ibadan, and so a lot of people, act, and then I think that she can even switch to some dialect. Yes, too. dialect. So apart from the general Yoruba that she speaks, uh, sometimes she wants to do all those so that you know that this person is from like or or something. Mm -hmm. She does that too, and you're carried yes. away, and you don't know that this woman is an Edo person. And then we've also seen people who maybe they have Igbo names, but when they're in Yoruba state, they decide to adopt some names from that dialect. I mean, I've, I've been entertained and also educated today. Wow. Amazing, amazing. I'm sure a lot of people too have been I didn't know. Yeah. Wow. educated today. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next on our list is Kevin Ikeduba. Kelvin Ngozi Ikeduba is a Nigerian actor who won the Yoruba Movie Academy Awards for Best Crossover Actor in 2014. The actor was actually born in Ebutemeta, Lagos State, despite being a Delta State native. So this one I know. Because of the name. Yeah, yeah I know this one. <laughs> Kelvin Ikeduba. I mean, yes, it's I, because of the name, the actually, name but yeah. it's actually yeah. so well. We also saw him in English movies. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. But yeah, amazing, amazing, beautiful stuff. Okay, let's talk about Odika Rose. Nollywood actress Rose Odika is one of the prides of the Yoruba movie industry as she is a celebrated thespian. She is from Aniocha North in Seluku in Delta State, but our love for Yoruba culture and values is unrivaled, having spent over 40 years in the Yoruba land. That means she's so pretty for yes. days. Love her. And a lot of people don't even know her name, but once they see her, they're like, oh, she's a Yoruba actress. Yeah, like she's been in so many Yoruba movies. This daily top five is giving me ideas. Uh, I'm second like cross over too. Yes, yes because now. you speak Yoruba too now. Yeah, at least a little. I'm picking it. It's more yeah. Okay, pick it well. You, you are picking what? He <laughs> understands. He can't speak well. <laughs> he can't speak. Oh, I mean, okay. Uh, I don't no, know. OJ, speaks OJ is better. better. Yes. Okay. Uh, no, OJ actually speaks Yoruba. OJ is well. better than. Ah. Put your money down. And we don't bet on this show. Sorry. So I have not caught you. I know <laughs> that you can speak Yoruba, but I have not caught you like, like in a conversation. Oh, speak Yoruba. I'll all take you to Lagos Island. But OJ. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> only for let me ask his manager. Bimbo, can Jay Paul speak Yoruba well? <laughs> no. Oh really? They will tell right. you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next person we are talking about is Messi Aiwe. Messi is a Nigerian actress, director, model, socialite, and entrepreneur. Messi is from Edo State, despite being a well-known figure in the Yoruba movie industry. She's currently one of the most in-demand actors in the industry. Definitely, definitely. So I... did you know that Messi is Edo? Oh, I did, Edo. I did. Okay, so Messi yeah. is... Aiwe. Yeah, Aiwe could be... Uh... Eh? Is he Yorubani? Uh, you can find the meaning <laughs> can for find it. Can find the meaning, no. <laughs> like, it, it, it will not just sound that way. Like, you just... Uh, it, but, it but then a lot of people don't know that I'm not Yoruba too because I speak Yoruba fluently. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is that ah. I get a lot of people say that I'm not Yoruba. Despite the fact that my name is Olayemi. Uh, and because a lot of people don't even know my first name, they don't know my real name, actually. Yeah. So they think that I've heard Edo, I've heard Delta... You know, a lot of people say that. I mean, I'm not even joking. Like, no cap. People, Actually, you don't look Yoruba. A lot of people say I don't look Yoruba yeah. until... You look South African. I, I, especially when I was... Yeah. Yeah, I get South this African babe, from young... Yeah. Uh, What's this that dude. name? It, it, this dude says that I look South African a lot. No, I but you know who looks more South African? Who? Dukwe, our producer. Okay, I know yeah. why. Yes. She has a <laughs> big rear. Thank you. <laughs> I said rear. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it on our daily top five. What are you watching? Is up next. We'll be right back. Wow. All right, thank you so much for staying with us. Welcome back to the show. And it is now time to pick your calls and read your messages as you'll be telling us the movies and TV series you've watched. And don't forget to rate it and tell us what it's about. To. Don't just write fences, and that's it. Who mm -hmm. fence you? Wow. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> so who's okay. taking the Honey, first you want to go first? All right, so on Facebook, we have Sixtos Igbo, who says, uh, movies, uh, hashtag movies Tuesday, hashtag is splash on TVC. I'm not watching any movie, no light. <laughs> I'm looking at it like this because it is, it, what, what, what was the last movie you watched? So please, <laughs> we've got Rashida Tlawa, who says, currently watching Flawless. Now, you'd not tell us anything about Flawless, you just left it at that. 
Next week, I'm going to come and say I'm just watching and then I keep mute. Goodness, Ola Dikuko here says, good afternoon, guys. Currently watching Black Adam. But now you're not telling us mm -hmm. what it is about. Why? Yeah, you need to. Okay, need to. it's Sam Lex Key says Wednesday. Oh, wow. But now you'd not tell us so because, you know, Catherine sat down well and, uh, you know, said everything about what if I didn't talk about Wednesday? I, I, yeah, we wouldn't even have known oh. anything about it. Sam J here says, I recently watched Dabby and the Dead. I'll rate it 8 over 10. That's all about it. You'd not tell us what about it. Florence. Oh, Lawrence. Lawrence is here. Hi, Lawrence. How you doing? I'm oh, fine. Good afternoon. You guys look great. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Lawrence. All right, so what movie oh. are you watching? Why well, watch, do you just finish watching when is this? Oh, uh, everybody. Oh, what about it? What did you think about Wednesday? It came on, it came on great, actually great. I enjoyed it. I'll get it tonight for time about 10. Uh, uh, mm. Oh, really? That's wow. almost 10. I hope you didn't get tired at some point like me because, I mean, like, I'll just stop, pause, and go back. Wrong, I'm not just tired. Wow. Uh, uh. You must be very, very, you love, like, all, all those black kind of... <laughs> Magician. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Thank Interesting. you, Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank Thanks you. for calling. Thank you so much. I, I don't know why. I didn't know that I would have somebody like J. Paul who would actually second it and say that, yeah. you know, because at some point. Oh, you too, you said it all. Yeah, at you the know, point I, I got tired. Yes, because, I got tired. Why? I don't know. Because, so uh, I kept asking myself, like, is it not my type of movie? Because so it's not my so type of movie, <laughs> but you know when you can predict some things in some movies, you get tired. So there were some parts that I could predict. That okay. was what made me All get right. tired. We have a caller on the line, Joy from Abuja. Oh, Joy. Hello, Joy. Hmm. Hello, good afternoon. Hey, Joy. Good hey, good Joy. Afternoon. Happy, happy new month and uh, Christmas. Merry Christmas in Thank advance. to you, Joy. You're the definition of your name. You're yes. Joy. Very joyful. Thank you. Joy, you say you're looking for who you wear uh, matching pajamas. Ah. Yes. Let me see Now, I come Lagos. Ah! Joy, Joy. First on top pyjama. Joy, first of all. Joy, Joy. Joy, Joy. <laughs> uh, finally, oh, Jepola has gotten his Joy. <laughs> and in our church, they said this month it is Joy, all true. Uh, joy, don't go anywhere yet, so. Please, first of all, send your photos to Jepo. Let's see whether you are inspired. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, Joy. So, uh, what are you uh, watching? Okay, you guys are looking good. Thank, thank you, you so indeed. much. Thank you. Thank uh, you. No, I'm not watching any movie for you, Tendi. I should say hi. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Thank you. And ask for the ticket of me. Okay. Yes, now. <laughs> I mean, if right. you close your mouth, you're bad. They say everything will be closed. Like, uh, so you should open your mouth to say, wet down. Okay. Put down. Joy, I have heard you. All right. So All right. I'm on Facebook, and uh, Esther Dean says, I'm watching Thor Love and Thunder. I'll rate it 7 over 10. Yoel says, Hello, guys. I'm currently watching Elite, a Spanish movie about low class students who are trying to fit in in an elite as rifts arise. One of the elite kids is mothered. I'll rate it a solid 9. Mm. Benedict Patrick says, hi, I'm Benedict Patrick, and I'm watching Never Have I Ever. Then he goes to Google and copies what the movie is oh. about and sends a link that go and check by yourself. <laughs> Send the <a> full link. <laughs> wow, bro. And he doesn't rate it at all. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Jojo Mojisalash says, uh, reaches on Prime Video. Mm. Uh, it's Sam Plex. Key says, I'll rate Wednesday 9 over 10. Mm. And Solomon Springfield says, Good afternoon, East Flash Gang. The movie I recently watched is Darby and the Dead. The movie is about a girl called Darby Harper who suffered from a near death experience as a young girl. Mm. She gets the ability to see dead people. As a result, she becomes introverted and shut off from her high school peers and prefers to well, spend time the, counseling. That stuff. Yeah. So uh, it's a great movie. I'll rate it 7 over 10. The great kids suggesting it. All right. We have Susan on the line all the way from Lagos right here. Hi, Susan. Hi. Hi, Hi. Susan. How are you? <laughs> I'm oh, my God, I'm really from Colin What? <laughs> I didn't hear. Oh. Susan, welcome. I was set wow. to add Boyle, Susan Boyle. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Susan, you want to tell us about the movie you're watching? Susan. Oh my Susan. God. Oh. 
Oh, we're so excited to yeah. have you. Yeah. Our we first are. time, and she was so excited. Yes. Excited energy. Space yes. call again, yeah? Yes. All right, so let me read our messages from Twitter. And of course, I don't know how you're always the first person, bro. <laughs> Kalipaka. Kalipaka <laughs> says, good day, gang. I'm currently watching Night Teeth. It's a movie of a college student moonlighting as a chauffeur. Picks up two mysterious ladies mm. for a night of party hopping across LA. When he uncovers their dangerous, shadowy underworld, mm -hmm. he must fight to stay alive. Wow. I'll rate it 7 over 10. Sounds very That's a great yes. movie. It's about vampires. Like, yeah. Yeah. I was even thinking that it will be, the reverse will be the case. That yeah. it will be like the driver is the one who has yeah, like yeah. secrets and yeah, sounds yeah, very interesting. So my God, I think I would like to see that. it. If you she actually love movies about vampires, you yeah. should yeah. um, Next person. Um, next person we have, Ifai. Uh, he says, I recently saw Wednesday and it's a series. It's horror and comic at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'll rate it 10 over 10. And one thing about the series is while watching it, you would, you would not know what's going to happen next. It's a must watch. I recommend it for Dala. Hmm. I'm sure perhaps she's seen it, Seth. Yeah, Apparently, probably. so I saw some reviews online and some people said it's the best of the Adams Family movies oh, really? or series that you've seen so I far. Agree. I agree. All right, I'll take one last message. Bam says, I recently watched Wednesday starring Jenna Ortega. Wednesday again, I rate it 10 over 10. Mm. Um, a lot of people here are saying Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Black says, I don't really watch movies, but I'll suggest Blue Story. It's a 2021 UK mm. movie about high yeah. school boys. Blue Story? Sports. Yeah, Blue Story. It will rate it 10. Oh. Okay. All right, and uh, that's all we can take on What Are You Watching? We'll be back to talk about the movies showing at the movies. We'll be right back. All right, people, you know we always show you love on this show right here. Show me love. Ooh, lead singer. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. money is my love language. Please send me money. Of show course. me love. What currency do you like? Dollars. Okay. Pounds, actually. Right. Okay, <laughs> you, know, you know we've always got you covered with anything movie-related on Tuesdays, right? So if you're planning on going to the cinemas this week, sit tight because it is time for movies at, at the, the movies. <laughs> In Nollywood, the standoff. Life for Ovier has always been a hustle. He has finished school, but he's struggling to get a job. But he continues to thrive with a smile on his face and a natural ability to make people laugh. He's also good-hearted and always willing to help, but still filled with that strength, resilience, and indomitable worry spirit to survive against all odds. Actors include Ayomaku, Jideko Soko, RMD, Paul Olokwe, Moffat Duncan, Real Worry, Pekin, Eso DK, and others. Now so, now so. All this for what they do so. Some people see they here, they squeeze their face. Wow. Do arm drawers announce themselves like that? Oh, wow. We are arm drawers. <laughs> but that looks really interesting. Star Man. spotted. Um, yeah. I can't wait to see it. I can't. All right, still uh, on Movies at the Movies. We're moving to Hollywood right now. And we're talking about Violent Night. An elite team of mercenaries break into a family compound on Christmas Eve, taking everyone hostage inside. However, they are prepared for a surprise combatant as Santa Claus is on the grounds and is about to show why this Nick is no saint. Mm -hmm. Actors include David Harbour, John, John Lugazamo, Alex Hassel, Alexis Lauda, Cam Gideget, Eddie Patterson, Beverly D'Angelo, and others. You ain't driving, are you? I steer a little, but the reindeer do my sword. Time for it. some season beatings. Yes, yeah, so Santa Claus came to greetings. town. So yeah. I think that he just tweaked it. Silent mm -hmm. night, violent night. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, Santa yeah, Claus came to town. Wow. I like it. I want to see it. Wow. <laughs> All right. Do not even say that we've not done anything for you. Okay. Yeah, we have, right? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. We really do appreciate you because if you were not there, we wouldn't even be here in the first place. Now, on behalf of these beautiful ones, this is Jay Paul, Mr. Flames, Mr. Flower, uh, the newest kid on the blog. Uh, no you know, no the freshest the one, clock. no time to check the <laughs> clock. Okay. So this is Kitty Kata of Ikate Cruise, if I get it right, like I tried right. <laughs> All right, it is Hunish Money right here. And we'll see you tomorrow, God willing, with our 10 countdown right now. See you then.